Hello and welcome to Minecraft News, bringing you the most news for your views. I'm Adam AK Swimming Bird, here with new info on Minecraft 1.9, the combat update. Starting with the big news, developer Dinnerbone announced that the first 1.9 snapshot is shooting to release on Wednesday, July 29th. Now this is not for certain, but as you'll see a little bit later, things seem to be falling into place for this to happen. It's also coinciding with the release of Windows 10, but this is unrelated, it's just the day of the week that they usually do snapshots on. The new Pocket Edition update, 0.12, was on track to release on the 29th as well, but the developers need a bit more time to add in new features such as enchanting, music, and controller support, so we'll have to wait until next month for the full release. Back to the computer version news, Dinnerbone is finishing up dual wielding, and he even released a short clip showing the benefits of the new feature. Here he is mining while using his offhand to lay down torches without needing to swap anything out. He also posted this short clip, which is not related to dual wielding, but seems to be some sort of hyper-realistic resource pack causing a glitch with Baby Wolf AI. Developers Serge and Grum are also helping iron out the bugs with the dual wielding system, with Grum posting a somewhat lewd screenshot of him holding giant watermelon blocks. Serge mentioned that all these updates to block models will help out with resource packs, and it will even be possible to put items in your head armor slot, though like wearing a block on your head, this will likely require commands to work. The developers had to check tons of item combinations to make sure dual wielding works with everything, but with the help of some extremely patient zombie fashion models, they made sure that it all looks smooth, or at least as smooth as a zombie wearing some stairs on its head can look. Developer Tommaso created this enchanting enchantment interface for Pocket Edition, but another dev, Daniel, swooped in to make his own, and with that we've got a design off on our hands. Which one looks better to you guys? In a nice example of a bug turning into a feature, Enchantment tables will have glowing books in the Pocket Edition version, another little detail that should hopefully make its way into the other editions as well. In a controversial move, Tommaso also changed how to toggle crouching, causing a bit of an uproar among PE players, making him at first change it back, but then ultimately to decide that it's best to let players try out this new way in the beta version before finalizing anything. I feel like this testing of new features would have been nice for quivers in the computer version, but in the end we're going to see soon when we fire off those new arrow types whether quivers will be missed. Lastly, Dinnerbone is getting the Ender Dragon set up to respawn, a feature mentioned in our recent Minecon news video. This will allow players to battle the boss beast multiple times to earn more experience and collect the mysterious new Dragon Breath ingredient. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this broadcast. We'll have an in-depth look at 1.9 soon with that first snapshot. I'll see you guys next time for more Minecraft news.